Your watch item is next on the block. So is it still available? Hi kids, it's Todd here, uh, on a mission. Shut up. So this wasn't at all planned and I am I'm really rushing because uh, currently right now, if I head straight there, which I am, I'll be there 15 minutes before my appointment, which is the last appointment they had for the day. So yeah, that's where I'm at. So I was in the market for a beater and I've been looking at all kinds of cars and I, I was almost siding with I'll get an automatic, but I really wanted a manual because as you know, I told you I'm gonna be selling the Z. I still currently have the Z, but a friend of mine's gonna buy it, just not right now at this moment. So I was kind of looking for a replacement, but something that I could run anywhere and I wouldn't be worried about it. You know, getting door dings and stuff like that, or hell, I, I could even run it through the junkyards. Um, I don't know what junkyards because there's not many around anymore um, but yeah uh, so I've been looking actively and today I was like oh, I'm gonna bid on this okay so this car has 73,000 miles on it it is a six-speed manual ha and I want it for right at the top of what I was gonna I was like I was gonna cut myself off at $3,500 I was like do not want to pay more than $3,500 for this, which with fees, you know, it's a lot more, okay? My winning bid was $3,450. <laughs> I think everybody congregated together and was like, Todd's going to bid this much. Uh, so, but I bid very fast, very actively. Kind of intimidates people, so that's what I do. And um, I was ready to stop right there and actually I was gonna maybe go one more but I, I was ready to stop so after fees I'm paying a little over just over 4300 fees man they get you but right now I'm currently mad at my bank because I cannot get a hold of my bank to pay for the car oh that's I have to up my debit limit for the day so that I can pay for the car and I cannot actively get a hold of anybody but I'm still driving to the Philadelphia co-part to get it while I'm trying to get I actually sent Ashley down to the bank to talk to her. this new way of doing things where everything's automated you go through the automation thing and it says all of our uh, employees are busy right now I'm about to change banks is what's gonna happen but anyways yeah so I, I haven't paid for this thing yet I'm gonna try to I'll update you guys when I do I got this thing uh, to beat around and we're not starting this. I know you guys are probably like, what about the C10? We're, we're working on the C10. I'm putting this in a storage lot uh, to be worked on in the future. But I just wanted you guys to know that it, you know, what's going down, keep you in the loop, you know what I mean? But if you really want to stay in the loop, you need to be on my Patreon because the Patreon people know the day it happens, pretty much the minute it happens, I already told them as soon as I won, and it's, you know, I'll, I gotta send them pictures yet, but I'll do that here in a little bit. See, here's my problem with that automation thing, okay? So my wife met, went down to the bank, and she said, they were not even busy. And she said, we've been trying to call you all day, and uh, it keeps telling us that everybody's busy and going to voicemail. And the lady said, oh, yeah, oh, it's your freaking phone. Tell you this, if you, if you don't have the right card limit set and you try to pay for it and it denies it um, sometimes copart will lock your account so I'm gonna wait a fair amount of time here before I try 
because I've had them do it before and then you have to call corporate and then it's uh, a whole fun rigor rigmarole before you, you, you get your account unlocked. Uh, so yeah, um, I really am not liking the fact that I might be driving three hours and not be able to get this car, but uh, I, I, I want to get it today so I don't have to take a day off of work. Today is like the only day it's possible. After I won, I was like, shoot, I can get this thing today. And then I looked and I was like, latest time. If it was 4 o'clock, I would have been fine. But 3.30 was the latest appointment to hit. So it's like, eh. okay. All right, let's go. It looks like I'm gonna be sitting here for a while. Well, they do have two loaders, uh, but there are, there's lots of people waiting. This is the Philadelphia Copart, which is not actually in Philadelphia. It's closer to Allentown, so it's it's only three hours from me as opposed to four hours for Philly. Um, yeah, it's still a long drive, and the only reason I came to this one normally, if I'm buying something to resell it, uh. I'm gonna bid at places a lot closer to me, like at, within an hour drive. If I'm bidding on something I wanna keep, I normally go a little bit further. Now, I've only ever got two other cars at this location, and they were both the best cars that I've gotten. One is this truck, two is my Z. So they were the two best, these are the two best vehicles I've gotten out of every vehicle. Um, they're, they're in good condition, they weren't hard to fix, and uh, it just turned out that way. Now, I'm not saying that's what this is going to be, because I have no clue, but it does look like it was a lighter hit. It does need a steering wheel bag and a dash bag, uh, but that, that's, you know, water under the bridge now. We don't want dash bag now, so we're like professionals. But like I said, don't get real excited for this one, because I am putting this in a storage lot for a little bit because I gotta work on this C10, okay? I have a, a lot of stuff to do in the C10. That just, this just takes one more thing off my plate and I don't have to sit and look, which I probably should have sat and looked for a little while to find something closer, but here we are. All right, so I have a suspicion that this thing is gonna be really loud. I was hoping not for that, but it's gonna be a beater, like I said. So um, I guess we'll get in and try to start it. Three pedals like God intended. Uh oh, get this thing out of here. That's already glued, okay. And this, uh, okay. Here 
bad as I thought. So, nothing's leaking out of it, as you can see. No leaks. Motor sounds pretty good. Okay, I'm happier now, because I thought this thing was gonna be like obnoxious. It's not bad at all. Gotta check engine light. Not bad. Well, this could be part of the reason why they wrecked. They had YouTube up. They was probably watching Unwrecked, not, not gonna lie. Locked and loaded. How many of you guys guessed it was gonna be a BRZ? So for any of you that don't know, the Subaru BRZ is the same as the Scion FRS, which is also the same as the Toyota 86. All three are the same car. This is a 2013. I'm not sure that they made the 86 in 2013, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but, but yeah, uh, beater car. <laughs> it's gonna have some dents in it because I'm not fixing all that. Anyways, uh, it looks like a pretty nice car uh, all in all. It's a, got some dents and stuff that you know but the motor sounds healthy I didn't check the clutch um, the exhaust actually sounds decent I thought it was gonna be like overbearing it's not bad it looks like the interior is in decent shape once I get all the parts out I have a question for you guys though should I fix it stockish because I was looking up front bumpers for this <laughs> I'm not gonna lie I thought it was pretty cool they make an RCF bumper for this. To make it look like the RCF, it has the Cascade grill and everything, and it comes with the grill and uh, the fog light pieces and all of that stuff. Uh, and it was, now I don't know if that was with shipping, but it was $280, which is really good. There's a lot of paint work that would have to be done because you've got to mask certain areas, got to be painted different colors to make it look right. But I think it would be cool, so you guys let me know if you think that's a good idea. Well, yeah, boys, this is going to be my beater car. I think I might throw some winter treads on it. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> so, let me get home, and we'll get some better shots of this thing. I don't know if there's coolant in it, so I can't. Re I don't really want to take it for a rip yet or a drive. Plus, I'm pretty sure that front fender is going to, or the front support is going to rub the tire if I start cutting the wheel. I did look. The frame is not bent. There's a frame extension on the end, and it's pushed off to the side. It actually ripped it out where, where it attaches to the frame rail. The frame rails are straight. So, core support, um, obviously a condenser, because that one's smashed. The AC's not working, so it did lose Freon. Uh, might have some lines there need replaced. I'll probably go ahead and put a radiator in it just to be safe. Um, Probably do some aftermarket headlights. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of want to have fun with that because it's going to be like a fun car. Anyways, I need to hit the road because I got a three-hour drive home. Honestly, I was looking at Subaru Impreza's, but if you look for them in a stick shift, you are very limited. And I was starting to think about getting a automatic. This is a rear wheel drive. This is, even though it's a Subaru, this is the only Subaru I believe is, that is not all wheel drive. Well, kids, I'm still an hour and a half from home and it's starting to, sun's starting to go down. So I'll tell you what, we'll get more into the car tomorrow. I'm just gonna take it to the, the lot where I store stuff sometimes and drop the trailer and the car off. The Murano leaves tomorrow, so get rid of that. Get out there and I'll get a little bit more footage of it and go through the car. I kinda wanna get everything out that's in the interior, push it to the side so I can look at the interior. And I wanna sit in it, I kinda wanna see. I mean, I kinda sat in it, but I wanna see if it's comfortable. Cause I mean, if I don't like it, I might just fix it and sell it. All right, so next day, later in the day, I'm gonna head out here. We're gonna clean out the interior of that car. I messed with the stereo in it last night. I, I, it's actually got a nice stereo in it, so that's nice. I'm not gonna mess with that. I can tell you that it had underglow lights on it. That's a bunch of wiring I'm gonna rip off. I'm not leaving it on there. I might bring it to the house. I got that spot where the truck was sitting. 
I can put it in the garage there. Don't worry, okay? I'm not starting on that right away. I got a lot of stuff to do that truck in. I just got a, a complete new rocker for the driver's side. I figured just start over. So, uh, yeah. Next video, though, I'm putting a stereo in the uh, Murano's. Some of y'all might remember this. That's that one that I painted almost the whole car. And then he wrecked it. And then they fixed it. And then he wrecked it again. And here it sits. It's still a driver, but yeah, he he kind of wants me to fix that up, but it, he don't want to spend no money, so it's, there it is. Anyways, uh, let's get all the junk out of this thing. Man, there's a lot more dents on this door than I remember. I'm going to have to live with them. You see the ripples down the side? Ah, uh, I don't want to do a whole new door. I also don't want to paint this whole door. Although I'm going to be painting the fender. Oh man, am I going to paint the door? I don't know. Watch me fix that. Darn it, here I am. Trying to ball on a budget. But then I, I look at things and then I don't want to do the budget thing anymore. So one thing to note on this thing, if you look at it, the wheel is not pushed back, okay? So the hit was up high. Well, you can see how high it was because it hit the condenser right here. Uh, there is a hole in the condenser somewhere. I don't know that there's a hole in the radiator, but it's bent. The condenser's bent. And the core support, I am going to be replacing. Um, you can see... This was part of the bumper. It ripped it, well, right here. It ripped it right off the end of this one. So it kind of got hit at an angle, pushed the, the bar over. So it, it, in return, messed everything pretty much in the front end up. Uh, I don't even know. This headlight might be broken, and I'm not seeing it. It is. It's cracked right here. I already planned on getting all new headlights, but can also see that it probably pulled this fender in. The hood is overlapping the fender, but then it also pushed the hood back, so it could have pushed it over at the same time. Ripped some, that don't look like it, that looked like somebody cut them. Somebody cut them off, nice. So I'm thinking, let's look at the bumper, see what we got there. The whole core support, like from top to bottom or whatever is about, 250 bucks I already priced it I need to hook a ratchet strap to this and pull this out i might just do that and we got the straps here we got the i'm just gonna that's what i'm gonna do so that way when i do decide to take this to the house i can turn it and not worry about ripping that that tire because look how good the tread is on that tire that's a really good tire i don't know how good the back tires are they're a cheaper tire but they're still really good shape there's a lot of good used parts here this inner fender liner although um it looks like it's an aftermarket because it's really thin and most of the time aftermarkets are really thin like this and it's got some rips in it it's still usable honestly and i honest i would rather not get new ones because they're just uh, I don't know. They're cheap, regardless. If I get a new one, it's not going to be much better than that. It might not have a couple of those holes in it, but nothing. Whatever this under tray piece is, all of that's good. This piece, whatever it goes to, it's not broken, so it's good. Um, I got half of the impact bar. Um, here we go. Here's what's cut off. They cut off the, the side marker light and the fog light, but thankfully they left me enough there. I can splice this back together. And as you can see, there was underglow lights on it. There is, 
Uh, I don't know if it's reusable, but there is a marker light there. Um, I'm going, I think, with a totally different bumper. So I'm not going to need those anyways, but I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I might, but I don't know yet. Well, since I got this thing strapped down, and I have a strap right here, let me go ahead and try to pull this out some. The only thing I really have to hook it to is the trailer itself, and it's going to pull it downward, but it really doesn't matter, just as long as I can get away from that tire. So let's go ahead and try it. not too shabby i ought to pull in the front of that hood um this fender i kind of like tried to pop it out but then the more i thought about it as soon as i open that door it's going to crank away again here's your uh low glow lights they just cut off the connectors i'm going to be getting rid of all the it does have a newer delco battery um the positive terminal's loose so i am going to disconnect that yeah i want to show you stereo on this thing i was actually impressed with it i was pretty happy with it um this is going to be fun. As you can see, it basically pulled the wires right at the end of the connectors. Now, if I can get this connector apart, I can repin it with the wires and then this and then the horn. It pulled the horn wire out too. So, all of that, I don't know where it all connects to. The horn would not think it went into the harness on the bumper. But I could be wrong. Okay, it would have been this side. Oh, yeah. So the fog light's completely gone. Oh, okay. Well, that's the plug right off the fog light. No big deal. I need to get a... Um, I'll, I'll just buy a pigtail there for that. And the horn... No clue. <laughs> no clue. So, yeah, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to figure this all out. But uh, there's... Okay, there's those two wires, the black and white. So that's these two right here. So, you know, we got that down packed. But as for the horn, I'm thinking um, I'm not seeing it. That There's maybe a wire inside of here somewhere that that connects to. I'll figure it out. A lot of you are probably looking at that thinking, yeah, I can fix that hood. You know, honestly, if I don't have to do body work on some of these panels, I'd rather not. So I'm just going to buy a fender. And I'm I'm looking for a used hood. But if I had to buy a hood, I'll buy a hood. This is an aluminum hood. Um, but, you know, if steel's cheaper, I'll put a steel one on it. I, don't, I really don't care. All right, so a couple things I don't like about this car. This guy hauled his dog around a good bit. So there's dog hair, and the, the back seat smells like a dog. So this thing's gonna need extensive cleaning. But I'll just show you some of it. Like, the back seat itself is really covered, but as you can see, some of that. And then, it's not too bad up front. You can see some of it but this back seat if i put it up it's pretty grimy and there's hair everywhere so yeah dude was hauling his dog but i wish copart would do this open the back you know seat and put the parts in instead of shoving them in there i'm surprised they didn't tear the back seat with that uh rebar in there but yeah anyways um, there's the dash piece it's missing. It's down there. And then there's, uh, this side panel 
right here. All the parts are in here. Um, I'm going to guess that was his glow light. There's a switch there. It's going to get it's going to get removed. Just like that. Seat's not in bad condition. I I seen this in the picture. So I knew that was kind of ripped and then I didn't really see that, but that's still really not that bad. A little bit of mud up on the top of the seat, which is probably from them putting parts in and stuff. Oh, it's hot in here. Thing fires right up, runs fine. The oil looks as clean as can be. Let's pop the hood. I'm glad all the tires look good, because that's one less expense I gotta worry about. It's, I'd like to clean the engine bay, but it's not too bad. You know how I said that I thought that was an aftermarket inner fender? This one's just as thin, kind of floppy. Maybe that is factory. I don't know. But nothing looks to have been damaged. The only thing I'd be worried about would be these cam sensors. Because since it was hit over here and pushed all this back, now that I pulled it forward, this had a tight kink in it. It's not as kink now. There is coolant in the system. Yeah, it's, it's like right here. So there's like a little bit of a bubble there, but... There's coolant in there. So this thing, I can actually run this thing. Didn't break the belt. The oil, I checked this at the yard. It looked like it was just changed. Look at that. That is clean oil. Yeah, it is. So just recently done. All relatively stock here. Looking pretty good here on the mechanical side. Now I can see the cats are still on it, thank God. Um, I was worried about that. That's why I thought this thing was going to be really loud when I got it, and it really wasn't too bad. Let's see if they went aftermarket on the air filter. Nope, factory filter. Looks to be pretty clean. Oh, not a factory oil filter. Clutch fluid is down to about the minimum, so I'll probably need to put some fluid in there. Brake cylinder is up to the max, so I'd say he just had his pads replaced. Let's look at those. Yeah, them. I mean, this is surface rust, but I can tell that those pads are like brand new. So, tires are good, brakes are good. Let's see the back ones too. Can I see those? Yep. Perfect storm ceramics. All right. That's always good to see that somebody actually put the money into their vehicle, you know, Good tires, good brakes, that's a good sign that they actually took care of it because if you got bad brakes and bad tires and it was in an accident, you kind of know why it was there and why you can kind of tell how good it was taken care of. I'm going to go ahead and start this thing up. And this is a proximity key. So you just get in, push the clutch in. And oh, I forgot the check engine light has already went out on this thing. <laughs> the one that was on when I first started it so and I contacted my buddy that does windshields and he's uh, already on board with replacing this one this mirror I'm, I'm assuming because of that it, it, it's broke I don't know I'm hoping that he can fix that I don't know I use car link which links to my phone and it works pretty good let me see if I can get some air going because man it is hot These speakers, they actually bump for stock. So one thing I haven't checked was the clutch. So, we'll leave this door open, hopefully. I don't know if it's gonna stay open. It's hot. Hey, the windows still work. Put the windows down. All right, so let's make sure we're not... First, second, the clutch works. Let's try to pull out in third and see if it's gonna stall. Yep, it is, which is a good sign. If you put it in a high gear and it wants to stall, that means the clutch is grabbing. If you put it in third gear and it, you can rev it up and let the clutch out, then you need a clutch. So, yep, even, oh, first gear, it tried to stall out on me. Yeah. So that fan must be for the AC because I have the AC on and 
this fan's not running and I have that one unplugged. So I'm thinking that's a possibility why the AC's not working because I honestly don't see any leaks in the system. The motor itself sounds good. And let me see. Oh, there's no leak in the system because it just pushed cooling out the top whenever I opened that up. Really can't beat it. I thought it was way worse than what it looked like and it, it's really not. Yeah, what do you guys think of this purchase? I'm pretty happy with it. I paid a little bit more than I really wanted to for, but after pricing everything out, I'm sitting pretty good with this thing. I'm looking at around six grand to fix this. All, all in with everything. I don't think that's that bad. If you guys like this video, smash that like button. Consider subscribing. Hit the dislike button if your mom's got a slow drip after watching my video. And we'll see you on the next episode of Our Wreck. Let me hold these big things. If I can sign a six o'clock appointment, that would be beautiful. Me join. Hmm? Hi, Steven. Did I wake you up? I did, I'm sorry. No, I mean, grumbling. <clears throat> oh, what are we doing over here? on the internet on and off they said they need to get everything done today that they're going to be oh, somewhere else. it's the end of the world well when you have a business that runs you, on the internet and stuff you have it's a you have hot spot we don't get the best you have hot right spot now. these kitties aren't worried you don't have to work you want to say bye bye